Okay, so there you can see we had a nice cut. Notice the laser right on that cut line. So this is the control box here. On the left there you can see that switch, that's for the trigger for the gun. And on the right side is the motion right and left, and in the middle is the amount of speed that's that you need to have uh, to move it back and forth. And down here we have the on and off switch with the green light. <clears throat> So this is all manual, this is not CNC, but it does a real nice job. So I just take a square and I put it up against this uh, uh, point right here. And then I also have a laser, which, uh, laser light, which uh, lets me know where exactly it's going to cut. And that's pretty much how that works. I am going to be getting a new laser light though. I think this one's a little bit uh, on the cheap side, but uh, it does work. I'm going to get a little bit better one. I'm going to fight this bracket to hold the uh, gun handle in so I don't have to have hands, my hands around that. And it just has a screw that goes up and down and that uh, adjusts the height over the metal because if you don't have the right height it won't work right. So that's how we do that. And then on each side it has stops. You can see it there going across. And it has a handle on the back there, and I can screw that down and stop the, the rail from moving back and forth, because it does uh, it does move back and forth as well as uh, horizontally. As, so it's motorized over here. This is just a windshield wiper motor that I uh, salvaged to put in here. It's new, and then. Uh, down here you can see the uh, power supply. I bought it for eBay. I bought all this stuff off of eBay. So that's pretty much how it works. There's three different ways of making sure that you get a square cut on your metal. The first one is this uh, tab here. You can measure it from here to this tab on both sides. See, there's another one over here. That's one way. Then the second way is putting the square up here on this corner and running it down here and putting the metal up against the square. So then it gives you that. And the third way, of course, is this, uh, this uh, laser light that shines down exactly uh, where, the, where the cut's going to be made. This is a razor cut 45, 45 amps. It's a pretty good little unit. And we have the uh, collection unit down here where down drafts down into this bucket down here. So all this stuff goes down there and we don't want all over the floor. This, this is the adjusting plate that allows us to adjust this uh, laser light so we can get it right on. Where, where we also have emergency stop switches on both sides of the rail. One over here as well. It shuts off everything in the event that the carriage goes too far. So it's a pretty nice cut, hardly any dross at all. A little bit on the end there. Very nice cut. I cut this at 30 amps, uh, 30 feet per minute. And as you can see here, I cut up some smaller pieces. One of the great advantages of using a plasma cutter is, is that these big six inch pieces are awfully hard to cut on this machine kind of dangerous if you set it up on its edge because the blade's up so high. I've ruined many a blade trying to cut those things, but not anymore because I got the plasma cut. This gets you a little bit better view of that roller I put underneath there. It kind of holds up this uh, handle in there. Really holds 